Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. This is a video that a lot of subscribers have been asking for and in this video I'm going to share with you a tour of my narrowboat. You've probably guessed if you've been watching quite a few of my videos that I live on a boat which is currently moored up in the middle of England and I'm going to share with you a full tour of the living space of our boat and then after that, I'm going to talk about some common questions that are often asked about what it's like to live on a narrowboat. So let's get to it. Here's the boat, and this is our little roof garden. It's gone a little bit wild now, actually. Come on inside, welcome to our boat. Here we have the main living space of the boat, as well as the dining room and the office, fully utilizing that small living space. <laughs> where the magic happens. Okay guys, so that's a tour of our living room as well as my office where I trade. And if you want to look at my trading setup in some more detail, I have created a separate video that talks about the different equipment that I use in my setup. I'll include a link above for that. The monitor stands themselves that are connected to the wall. I've actually had those for a few years. I originally brought those a few years ago when I was living on a camper van that we'd converted from a school bus. And it's because they're quite small screens. I believe they're only about 15 inch and they are perfect for small living which is obviously why I've gone for those whilst living on the boat. Don't get me wrong, when I'm analysing the chart sometimes I could do a little bit more room on those screens but they work and that's all that matters. But the office itself works great. My husband works full time as a carpenter so I spend most of the days here on my own which gives a brilliant environment, it's quiet and it's peaceful which makes it a lot better to be able to focus and get my head into trading as well as other things that I do in the day. As you can see on the tour, we've also got a fireplace, which is amazing in the winter time. It's so cozy and lovely having a warm log burner on the boat. But in addition to that, we do have a central heating system as well, which is powered by Aldi. And the radiators run all the way through the boat, which makes it great so that if it's cold in the winter, we don't always have to run straight to the log burner. So moving on with the tour. This is our little kitchen space, or not so little because the way it's been designed on the boat makes it really quite spacious as far as boat kitchens go. And we've really utilised the storage space which is awesome for small living. As you can see on the kitchen tour we do have quite a few appliances as well. We're not exactly going without anything just by choosing to live on a narrow boat. So we've still got an oven, we've got a fridge freezer, we've even got a washer drying machine because we're usually plugged into the marina power so that can run off the electric as well. So we have pretty much everything that we need in this little space. Just before I wrap up this video with you guys, I'm just going to answer a few common questions that have been asked over the last year. So first of all, why do I choose to live on a narrow boat? Well, before I can answer that in depth, there's just a little bit of background that you need to know. When I met my husband a few years ago now, back in 2011, he was actually living on a narrow boat at the time. 
So after a while, I moved on to the boat with him. It wasn't this boat, it was a different boat. And we lived on that boat together for a couple of years. So I had a really good experience living on a narrow boat from years ago. Fast forwarding forwards in time, back in 2017, we actually moved from our house into a converted camper van where we traveled around a little bit for a couple of years before moving back into a house. But we kind of felt like we were missing small living and we were sort of wondering what it would be like to go back onto a boat. And that's how we managed to get the boat that we're on now. So why do we live on a boat? Well, it's a mixture of desire because boat life is pretty cool. You can boat around, you can stay in one place. Living on the water is quite a relaxing way to live and there are quite a lot of positives about boat life. Also, it's quite cheap to live on a boat compared to what it's like living in a house in the UK. So from our decision of living on the narrow boat means that it's given me the space that I've needed to really study trading and also build up a self-employed business on the side as well. What is the best thing about living on a boat? I think the best thing for me about living on a boat is the fact that nothing is permanent. So right now we are moored up on a, our own jetty in a marina but we have moved around quite a bit since we've had the boat and that's what I really enjoy is that you're always in this constant state of change and in case you hadn't guessed me and my husband quite like travelling. It can make life quite exciting to feel like in a few months time you don't really know where you're going to be because you could decide to move on, we could decide to travel to the other end of the country, it just keeps things quite exciting. And what is the worst thing about living on a boat? Well, quite honestly, there are also quite a few contenders for this option as well, because it is quite a small space to live in and it does take quite a lot of energy and maintenance to upkeep the boat. But when it comes to the worst thing about living in the boat, at the moment when I'm recording this, I think it's gotta be that both myself and my husband quite miss having a garden. You see, on a boat, we don't have any space to ourselves other than the boat that we are living on. We've had a look at farmers moorings and they are actually quite few and far between because they're very popular, they're very difficult to get. And so whenever we need to take Jet out for a walk, we have to go for a walk. We can't just open a door and let him out into the garden. Also, gardens are really quite nice spaces to have where you can just relax in the sun. So when it comes to the worst thing about a boat, it's definitely the fact that we lack in garden and outdoor space. So that's it for the boat tour. I hope that you've enjoyed the video. If you have, be sure to hit the like button so that I know whether to create more content like this. I've actually got some really big news to share with you guys, but that's going to have to wait until next week's video. So make sure you're subscribed below if you're not already part of the channel so that you don't miss out on that video. Meanwhile, I hope you have a great weekend and I'll catch you next week. Thanks guys. Bye.